Have a look at this, guys. Look at that view. It's amazing. And that view. Have a look at that view as well. <laughs> I got a feeling that tonight's gonna be a good night. That tonight's gonna be a good night. Ah, oh, what a beautiful, beautiful. Hang on a second. It's not a beautiful day. What's going on? <laughs> this is the chariot for today. Here is our, um, not driver. What's a cool word? Not driver. Chauffeur. Chauffeur. I don't want to say chauffeur. I want to say more like. It's chauffeur. It makes me sound grander than what I am. What's someone who like? Not tour guide. Like what would Indiana Jones be? Um. Hmm. Are you mate? Somebody's very sleepy in you, mate. <laughs> hmm. It's not the same as a flower. Silence! <laughs> well, the adventure now. starts, guys! We're on the way! And you know it's going to be a good vlog because I'm in it! <laughs> I just farted, sorry guys. <laughs> Try it again! <laughs> You're in trouble now! So it looks like we're heading towards Abergav anyway, is that correct, ladies? Yeah, I believe so, yes. And we're just going to see what's there, is that right? Yep. And then nice. The then plan is to maybe venture up further. Up to the Brecon. Yes, so, you know, these adventures are the best adventures because we don't know what, what's going on. We just we just found a destination. We're going to go there and it's going to be great. <laughs> and you guys get to come along with us in the comforts of your own beds. Do any of you watch these vlogs when you're in bed? <laughs> I'm in bed with you all comfortable. <laughs> so Louise, in her great wisdom, has taken us down the darkest lane. A little bit of scenery for you, everyone. It's pretty cool, doesn't it? This is, uh, I don't know. I don't even know where we are. Abergavenny, I think. So guys, we have managed to venture into the unknown. I just want to show you our current location. Uh, we're just driving some random lanes. We don't even know where the hell we are. Looking for a place to, for Louise to do a UE. <laughs> yeah. There was a chippy back there. I was like, oh, that'd be some nice content for everyone. I know you guys love watching me eat food. Uh, and it was shut. It looked really cool as well. But we're literally in the middle of a farmland. But um, I think we, we ended Herefordshire at one point, didn't we? Yeah, we ended Hereford. They're not talking to me. They're, they're concentrating on what's going on with him. Yeah, um, we entered Herefordshire at one point, so we don't know if we're still in England. I don't know what's going on, but you will find out. So we've decided, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to go to Ross on Y. No, Hay on Y. Is it Hay on Y? Hay on Y. We're going to go to Hay on Y. Um, don't know what's there, but hopefully there's little buildings. Oh, choking on popcorn. Hopefully there's little buildings that we can explore and um, we might meet the locals, who knows, like the like chaps though. Let's see what happens. But the area where we are now is really, really nice. We found like a cool little village, um, bought some popcorn and stuff and bought some drinks. No, it wasn't too bad. It comes to like eight quid for like three drinks. Popcorn, some biscuits, crisps, you know, snacks for food. That was a close one. <laughs> Countryside. It's funny because we were just passing loads of fields, and as soon as I pulled the camera out, we've entered some sort of wood. Ugh, woods. Right, so we made it to Hay on Y. We found like a cool little parking spot, but look how busy it is. Um, I don't know if there's something going on. I believe never been here before, but I believe the town centre is that way. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna venture up that way and see how it's going. Now it is raining. So I have to be careful with my camera. If it does start getting a bit heavier, then I'm gonna have to um, convert. I'll have to convert back to my phone. And I don't want to do that. So yeah, so let's uh, let's go and explore um, Hay on Y. Have you guys ever been to Hay on Y? Do you even know it exists? I didn't. <laughs> I didn't even know it existed until earlier on today. What is this place? What, what is it? Hay on Y. 
No, but apparently it's the world's first book town. I really don't know what to expect, yeah? That's kind of a map of the area. Ooh. Oh. We're part of the uh, Bracken Beacons. Oh, it's a fudge shop, yeah? Oh, look, Logan, they've got a wishing well, look. What? A wishing well, yeah? You wish. Put money down there. Is this, the, is this the town centre? Hmm. Oh, that smells like tea. <laughs> yeah. I pay 30p for this luxury. Stinks. I'm gonna pee on the floor. What the hell is your canal? Oh, there you go. <laughs> it's very small, isn't it? This place. Is this the whole town? Just gonna go down here, I guess, and just see. You gotta pay, right, to go into the toilet. So I said to Logan, I goes, "Oh, Logan, look, you can sneak under there, sneak under." So he started sneaking under. All the alarms started going off. Oh, <laughs> I'm such a, I'm such a bad influence. So in terms of good-looking places, I guess not. Doesn't look too bad at all, does it? Got quite a nice view of the valley. We drove all over, all over there. We've just gone into the country supplies shop. Let's go check it out. Oh, it's hot in here. What are you stealing? Are you stealing anything? What should we steal? Oh my gosh, we're going to get the chip out. Oh, it stinks. Oh, it's there. Who are we? I don't know what I was going to do it in your hair, I thought I'd better not. No children were harmed in the making of this video. Yeah. Yeah. Duh. I got my shield. <laughs> I find it mad, right? Because there's like so much. Like people here wander around round. There's not much here to see really. <laughs> just gonna go I'm not I'm not going in, I'm just gonna go check it out because the man alone gone up, they they've just come out actually. Just gonna see what this is up here. This is a castle cafe. Welcome to the Hay Castle. Hmm. Maybe, maybe. So this is like a little village town place. <laughs> That's quite cool, isn't it? Oh, you smell like bacon. Not for sure. Established 1962 by Richard Booth. That's a chair. I'm the king. <laughs> Tom. Tom. This is a bookshop. I don't know if I want to go in there. Looks like a music shop. I can't be going to music shops, do you know why, man? Copyright. That's why. What do you think of this place? It's nice. It's nice, isn't it? It's a nifty little place. Expensive. <laughs> full of old people. People everywhere, but I was saying, I was just saying on the vlog then, it's full of loads of people, but there's not, nothing really here. Like an old antique shop here, look. Wanted antiques, gold, garden items, furniture. Air, air, air call? What the fuck's that? Hey, mate. 
Mm. So the town centre is through this dodgy little alley. <laughs> Oh, it's quite nice, isn't it? Quite a nice little town centre, look. <laughs> Coffee shop Isis. Fucking <laughs> hell. <laughs> no, you don't see that every day, do you? Coffee shop Isis. <laughs> Silence. <laughs> hey, it's not too bad this place. It's quite, uh, it's quite. What's that word? Eye pleasing. Yeah. Do you know when you used to go for the newspaper and you come to page three? That's kind of how it feels. <laughs> well, well, the honesty bookshop. Oh, well, oh God! What's going on back there? Can have a look. Oh, that's cool. Oh, this is a castle, Lou. Welcome to Hay Castle. Is Elton John there, look. <laughs> Sir Elton John. Richard Booth, King of Hay. Why is he wearing glasses though? They didn't have glasses back then, did they? So how does this work then? So every book here is a pound each look. You just scan here to pay. That's pretty good, isn't it? Look mate, every book here is a pound look. So then when you find the book that you want, you just scan it. Charlie? I don't think you scan the book, you just scan the code. That's what's called the Honesty Bookshop. It's interesting, isn't it, mate? Mm -hmm. The English Patient, Kiss Me Kate. Mm, days of Majesty. <laughs> Definitely pornos. <laughs> so this is the castle, we're gonna go check that out in a bit. Looks like there's a ruin on it. That's pretty cool, look, look at that. That's awesome, isn't it? There's another memorial here as well. Like I was saying, that's what I love. When you come to little towns like this, they, uh, they have little memorials like this and they're really cool. Well, this is not too bad, is it, guys? It actually worked out quite well, I thought. Let's have a look. Looks a little like Italy. Italia. <laughs> Loads of people with their dogs, mind. Just must be a dog friendly city. <laughs> oh, look, that's the castle. Let up there in a minute. See if we can find any rooms we're not supposed to go in and get kicked out. Oh, you can actually go to the top, look. Hmm. Oh, this must be the market area. No ice creams or dogs. <laughs> <laughs> no dogs allowed in my shop, mate. Homemade cakes. This would be a cool place to explore at night, mind, wouldn't it? Yeah. I don't want this for me. It's not haunted, mate. Huh. It's just, I think, when everything's lit up. Pili Pala. There we go. We found the prison. What is this then? This is not information that I can read. <laughs> oh, somebody's left some books here. What's this book? Peasants and Potters. Oh, look at that. What an interesting book. I can smell fish and chips. These are all naysayers. They're like, it's not fish and chips, it's just food. But I know fish and chips, Lou, and I smell it. So, there's no information on where we are, but it does say this building was restored by the member War Warring Club in the year 1984. 
Do you know what else happened in 1984? Moi was born that year. So it was a bloody good year, I'm telling you now. Yeah, but the parents, I don't know what it is. It is a Roman amphitheatre. There's lots of bookshops, which we would expect being like the world's book town or something. I can't remember what it was called. Silence. <laughs> All right, we're just gonna check this out down here a sec, guys. Bear with, bear with. Some sort of bakery. Told you, told you. Always trust my nose. <clears throat> oh, okay, yeah, then it's like an old pub, I think. British Legion. Uh, yeah, it's pretty, pretty swell up here. We're not gonna go too far. But just look how old the buildings are here. Oldy woldy buildings. With the original glass. <laughs> Do you know what this town needs, guys? A KFC. <laughs> so, what's this? Oscar's Bistro. So, we've got cotton chips, scampi. 12 25 for fish and chips. That's quite expensive, isn't it? Hmm. You can get 12 hamburgers from McDonald's for that. Silence your mutt. <laughs> Seems to have lost Louise. Louise! <laughs> Louise! <laughs> She's not there. So, we're going to check out this charity shop. In Ross and Y. Because we're a beggar for a Where do we man? Hey on Y. Hey on Y. Where do you want to I don't on know. Y? I don't know. Okay, your wallets. What wallets we got here? Cool. Anything cool for me, mate? Belt. Not gonna fit me. So man, what would you rate that charity shop? A zero. Yeah, that was shit. <laughs> There's nothing in there. Just like a little bakery. Oh, they've got pies and stuff. Do you want me to get like a little cake we can all share? Lou, do you want me to get like a cake we can share? It's a cake shop, isn't it? No, look, we're a long distance, oh. we're, a, we're a modern version of a Londis. Ah, okay. <laughs> so we're we're oh. a independent Londis. Ah, then. okay. Yeah. Thank you. Hello. I hope you do have the best cakes in all of the land. Oh, do I don't know. <laughs> just something, just, yeah, just something, whatever you recommend, something nice and sweet. We're all, we're all going to taste it. Right, okay. So they've got nuts in. And then we've got raspberry and white chocolate muffins, blueberry muffins. Raspberry and white chocolate. They are very good. Well, we're gonna go for a raspberry and white chocolate muffin, please. Yes, is it just the one? Yes. Yes, please. please. We're all gonna we're all, all gonna dig in. Go on, mate, have them then. So guys, rush on Y, no. Hey hey Y. Hey, hey on the Hey on the Y. Hey on the Y. <laughs> Whatever we are. <sighs> Hey, why? Except this white chocolate. White and chocolate and raspberry, raspberry muffin. muffin. In this place here. Now she says that they don't make them here, but they, they do get them imported from a local bakery. I think they're more like a fresh produce sort of blondis, aren't they? And... Break me a bit off, man. Ooh, where from? Just whatever. Oh, they look soft. They look nice. <laughs> Mind if we taste them anything? I'm kind of raspberry. Not really getting the white chocolate. I don't know about it. It's a lamborghini. Try it a lot. Vespa. I see a Vespa. Vespa. How do you know what that is? How do you know what a Vespa is? Nupa. 
No. I don't like that at all. I don't like that at all. Really? As a muffin, it's really good. As a muffin, but it just tastes like every other muffin I've ever had. Bronze, bronze bud. I'm gonna be I'm honest. Staff are amazing. Bronze bud. I'm not getting my chocolate at all. No, what do you reckon? What are you gonna give it? I'm gonna give it a one. No. What's spud? Oh, spud. Oh, that's um, a bronze, bronze yeah. Bronze spud, ladies and gentlemen. We don't just hand out gold spuds on this channel, do we, Logan? Yeah. What are your What are your skips? A gold spud. Logan gives them just gold spuds. I think you, I think I think that's it. I don't know if there's anything down there, Lou. It's a town centre. Shall I ask? Well, that's just. Well, that's just studio. Excuse me. Is there anything down here now? Or is this the end of the centre? Let's go along there. Yep. Yeah. And that takes you back down to the town garden. Now. Awesome. Thank you, mate. It's the little village that keeps on giving. Look how cool that looks down there. Obviously, we're not going to go down here. Tapas bar. I'm going to head this way. Bookstop, bookshop studio. Oh, look at these. Another one. What's this one here? Yeah. Murder and mayhem. It's like dedicated to like murder books. That's probably one of the coolest bookshops I've ever seen in my life, to be honest. Oh, yeah. Hello. Oh, wow. What an amazing looking bookshop. <laughs> Sorry. Wow. Oh, my God. Come with me, murdered. <laughs> I said to the lady, I was like, Do you have any like weirdos coming in saying, like, have you got any books on how to kill your wife? And she showed me those books, like how to dispose a body and uh, 30 minutes how to kill a man. That was interesting, wasn't it? Oh, yeah. Tasty, yeah. I love it. Louise is all about the books. Max is all about the <laughs> <laughs> Oh, look amazing. Oh, I love that smell. I love it. I love the smell. Oh, an almond brownie. Guys, you know this channel wouldn't be complete without a brownie. Can you do the honours for me, please, man? I'm feed you. Now, this was £2. Pound. Okay, so it's got a bounty consistency. Now, she tried charging me £1.80, and I said, no, love, it's £2 on the sign. I was going to give her £2 anyway. Here we go. Gooey, squishy. Oh. What is it? I'll try it. Is that okay? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh wow, it's really that's that's really squishy. It took off the entire thing. Yeah, they run over and over. What is that aftertaste? I don't know. Is that chocolate? Like it's like almonds. It's like that chocolate. It's like fudge. It's like fudge as well. It's like amazing. And then the after they hit you. Mm. It's got a nice texture. Mm. Mm. But the aftertaste is a bit. Makes what is that? Is that dark chocolate? I think it is dark chocolate. It's not vegan, it's got eggs in it. That's some more, is it? No. It's not my cup of tea. I love that. What spread would you give it? I know I'd give it straight away. What would you give it? Bronze? Bronze? Oh, oh, sorry. It's not the best brownie I've ever I tasted. Silver. Yeah, I'd say silver. 
only because it was delicious until that after face hits you. And then you're like, what is that? Yeah. No, I, I like it though. I like it. Silver. It's interesting though, isn't it? It's got loads of animals on it. The cafe has closed. The oh wow, it's massive. Bookshops are massive. See this? It's like the original tin tin. How much are they? It's like 18 pounds. Let me ask if they got any books on Spud Boys. Excuse me, do you have any books on Spud Boys? Who are they? <laughs> Who are they? Who are the Spud Boys? How dare you? Oh, my face. So, like, with it being like one of the oldest towns and stuff, you would expect there to be more bakeries. Yeah. We found two bakeries, right? Well, one even a bakery. One was a Londis, and one of them was just like a delicatessen. <laughs> And both of them didn't bake their own stuff. They 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 ordered her in. So, where is the places that that, that do their own stuff? There's bound to be some. There's bound to be something like that around here, isn't there? There has to be. It's just we are unable to locate it. More bookshops. And look at this. It's an old clock tower, mate. Do you know lightning hit that clock tower? Yeah, 1984 or whatever it was from <laughs> Back to the Future. This is pretty cool, man. Look at this. It's like proper old, but yeah. Like I said, it's the uh, rock. Oh, every Thursday is a market from 9 a.m. Come back on a Thursday. Look at Oh wow, look at this little town, yeah. I've seen this as well, I thought this was quite interesting, look. It's got a signpost, yeah. And it's got Timbuktu on it. <laughs> and it's got Lady Do. Oh, it stinks of shit, are you? Oof. It's not like human shit as well. <laughs> Hiya mate. Hiya mate. What's your name mate? Hiya mate. Mm. <laughs> I was hoping that he didn't get sucked up my nose there because that would have uh, that would have been horrible. Oh I found a dungeon. Oh it's really a house. I snuck in there. <laughs> oh it's like a bed down there look. Such a cool little place. And here we go, guys. The castle. What's it called again? Hay Castle, isn't it? Um, yeah, Hay Castle, yeah. Apparently it's free entry. But I was hoping to sneak in. Ooh. It's cool, isn't it? Ooh. <laughs> Oh wow, it's pretty cool in here. Oh, yeah. So that's what it looks like, look. It's just a dungeon. Mm. If you're wondering guys what Amanda and Logan are, they're back at the car. Because I'm, f I'm putting this in at the end. What's that say there, Lou? Some old writing look. What's that say? <laughs> you read it. <laughs> <laughs> the Norman Hebd. 
This carved relic was found by archaeologists near the ancient gate. It's a likely Norman decorative element from the medieval tower. Oh. Interesting. <laughs> What's another one you look? Is this the head of a dog? <laughs> uh, the medieval cobble was a structural part of the castle. Oh man, look at this. Oh, these are steep. Copyright. We know I'll be useful. It's pretty clever, isn't it? All bottles of wine. So all bottles of wine. Hiya, mate! <laughs> Dance, look to the music! Dance! <laughs> Try <and> floss! <laughs> This enigmatic arch on the south wall of the tower was revealed in 2009. It suggests the tower was once a gatehouse. Ooh. Yeah, you see, look, you see the arch? Oh, yeah. Wow. And the original entrance is castle. What is this art? <laughs> oh, this is cool. Oh. <laughs> It's pretty cool, mine, isn't it? What an awesome view! Why is Lou? Is that smoke or, cl or clouds over there? Look. I think it's clouds. It's like in the woods, though. What is this? Where does this lead, guys? Oh, it don't lead anywhere. Medieval missile. Oh, it's on about this thing. Chunk of rock, yeah. It doesn't lead anywhere, Luke. You're up there. It just ends. I suppose, like, eventually, there used to be like another floor, yeah, maybe. Hmm. <laughs> oh. Oh. Hiya, mate. <laughs> Welcome to story time with Mike. <laughs> Sorry, I thought you were my mate. <laughs> my mate, I thought you were... <laughs> There's a gallery over here, is there? Ah, it's free. You've got to pay for you to get in the gallery. Sorry, Dave. I was going to try and sneak behind her, but <laughs> she would have seen me. <laughs> she had that guarded pretty well, didn't she? <laughs> Whoa. Now well, that's pretty cool, isn't it? Oh, wow. Oh, hi, yeah. Ugh. Oh, why can't I go up there? I think it's safe for sure. Yeah, I can even get up there if I wanted to. That's nice, that is. Well, guys, what do you think of that? Quite an interesting little flower bed. Just chilling out. Burgamy. 
two minute walk now, eh? Oh, we gotta go down there, don't we? Wanna have a look on that bridge. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I thought this would be the perfect place to end the vlog. Look how amazing this view is. I wouldn't want to drop my camera down there. People kayaking and everything. So yeah, so that is the end of this little adventure. I hope you enjoyed it. I did try and capture as much as I can. Um, the reason I even showed you any food, guys, is because we haven't had any. <laughs> what time is it? We haven't had food. You just... You just <laughs> there was a horse fly on the, on, the, on the bridge. And I was like, oh, look, Lou, there's a horse fly. Man, it just stuck her arm on it. started twerking. Lifted her arm, but he flew off. <laughs> Yeah, well, we've had we've had like a muffin and a, a brownie, but we haven't had nothing proper, no. have we? Um, which sucks in a way because you thought someone like this they do have little cafes and stuff, but everything as you've seen it was like twelve pounds just for like uh, just for fish and chips. So yeah, so I just want to say thank you so much for watching the vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, don't forget if you are not subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, man, what are they gonna do? Like and subscribe. What else they gonna do? Notification. Notifications on. <laughs> what I gotta say, mate? Thank you for subscribing. Do you want to say anything to the subscribers? Watch Cuphead. Nice, I'll cut that, but help me. Right then, guys, so that is the end of that. I hope that was good for you, and I will catch you. Louise, obviously, she's walked off. Lou! Say bye bye to the subscribers! <laughs> she's obviously wandered off. Right then, I'll catch you all on the flip side.